Welcome back to The Reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined, as always, by my co-host, Brian. Hello. As you can see here in the title, we are here to talk episode 11 of season one of The Courtship. So, Brian, we've been harping on this for a while, but it's the end of van life. Miss Remy finally came to her senses. She changed the oil, the tires, flat, whatever analogy you want to do. But Lincoln's time was up. And honestly, man, should have been up weeks ago because this guy is not really hidden the fact that he isn't in for a committed relationship. We'll dive into all the reaction details and some of the savage events. But how do you feel about Lincoln going? Like you just said, it long, it should have been happening like last two weeks, at least two weeks ago. I don't know why he's still here. I'm, it just makes me wonder about her. Like, yeah. how's this going to end? Like, is she going to, like she said, even in this episode, she's in love with somebody else. Like, if she cares so much about being in love, because she acts like she got really hurt this episode. Yeah. But I don't know. I just, how would you entertain him for so long if you're, if you're this serious about it? Miss Remy acted upset with multiple people over the last few weeks. Obviously, we get into the stuff with Lincoln and the note and all like that, and we'll dive into a second. But then obviously also with um, Mr. Bacciccio with Danny this week. Danny, I'm glad he spoke up to her during the group date, brought her to the side with the ridiculous pink umbrella in the rain mm. and told her, she's like, look, you seem standoffish. And he said, look, you entertain this guy with an overnight. He's gone around openly saying he's not sure about a commitment. And it doesn't make me feel confident in you and like what you have to say. And this is where I agree with you, Brian, because her reaction is one to then go, well, I'm in love with you. That doesn't correlate or answer the question to what he said. And then secondly, accuses him now because he's bringing up any kind of thing that's upsetting, which is true, that you're running away. And then she proceeds to storm off. Right. Didn't like how she handled that. Yeah. I'm wondering if it like, we're just getting out of the end. She's like def- maybe torn in different places, but we'll see what, like, it's going to be nice to see an episode without fan life. Mm-hmm. Um, just to see like guys that actually kind of want to be there. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I'm, I'm happy he's gone. Like, it's just, I can't believe it took this long. Is it, what's crazy to me. And, and again, and this is something that we talk about in other shows, especially the bachelor franchise. I, I have no patience for a contestant that knows that they're not there to actually right. try to win. Like, and this guy literally said he's got to convince himself. So he snuck in and seduced her and obviously slept with her to be able to, because he makes the comment about being in sticky situations. It's like, okay, yeah. dude, we get it. But literally the next day that next morning after you showered you went right to the gentleman's parlor and was like no um i think i had some and i'm pretty sure he said this and people correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure he said post nut clarity so basically meaning once i slept with her i knew that like it wasn't so amazing that it made me fall in love with her and spoiler alert dude that's not how you fall in love with somebody because they're just so good at banging that you can't imagine not being with them yeah that i just was ready and the rest of them are gone and like we've said in other weeks there were better guys that got sent 100 yeah, percent. much better guys that deserve to actually get to go on normal dates yeah and honestly we don't know this since it's a new show like will there be a reunion i'm really interested in seeing like some captain kim revenge tour on uh if there's a reunion like i want some of these guys that were lost at sea or died to come back and get their revenge on um van boy You've heard, hearing it here first, Brian. If there's not a reunion, we're working on it. We're going to work on getting a few people together. And it's a little bit of a tease because we have one of them coming for the amazing race, which will be coming soon, probably within the next few weeks. We're going to have a pseudo reunion of season one. And um, we have another good guest coming on later this week. So I think we're going to start being able to speak some of this stuff into existence. But if they don't, we're finding Captain Kim. We're yes. going to get Danny B on. We're going to get a few of these. Honestly, I would, I'd get Lincoln on, but I don't know if we'll have Wi-Fi. So like right, you're right. Yeah, he's got to go to like a like a like a Starbucks. <laughs> he's got to go. To, he's got to go to a WeWork. Yeah, right. Wherever, whatever state he's in, whatever the uh, local like coffee gas station area that he can stop in and get some uh, Wi-Fi for free. I did like how Lincoln's time was brought to an end, though. There was our version of the note from Jersey Shore. Uh, this was Mr. Cones decided that due to Regency era technology issues. He couldn't just let her know what was going on. So had to write her a note. He couldn't go knock on her door and let her know. He couldn't announce it in public. He couldn't just call the guy out. And I'm curious on your opinion, soft move or not to write the note? Um, It's a little soft. Uh, Like, I get it. For a guy, you should go just tell her. Yeah. That's what I think. But I was just thinking maybe in reality TV lore of, like, all time, 
yeah. the more things change, the more things stay the same. There has to be a note every like decade or something in a show. Like they're like, oh, we're, we're getting that quota. We got to sign the note this season. Somebody's got to do it. Do you like how they remove the parents? Like they're yeah. about to like this guy was murdered. <laughs> like, right, 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 right. Exactly. What, like they were so worried that someone said that they're just in there for a fling. Was that going to like give the mother a heart attack or make the father get up and be like, because I'm be honest. Like I appreciate that this week that they said that they were anti him and whatever one too late and two mm-hmm. like i don't you guys should have stood up a lot or like I a agree. lot more harsher and stuff like I, I there's nothing about how they've reacted to anybody on the show that makes me feel like they're gonna hear that the guy's in just to hook up with their daughter and be like let's go yeah. i want to yeah. defend her honor like, they've been very chill this whole time so yeah yeah because like i said before i think last week the brother like really toned it down like the mm-hmm. dad is there but like I don't sort of not. They're just there. They're not. They're at this point. They're just like background characters. They had a more prevalent role in the beginning, and they just really kind of every week they like wean them off. I mean, honestly, besides that, the only really notes I had here for this episode are kind of just overall housekeeping for the show. I love the daily tea. Still, I've never really commented on the title of that of the like news of the day being the daily tea. I think that's really really funny. Mm-hmm. And I did like when they made the joke about chore play. So they had to do a bunch of chores and cooking. And the guy's like, aren't you into chore play? That was the host, I believe, said that, right? Yeah. You don't like the host, do you? He, he's, he's, he's growing on me because I do think the longer that the show goes on, this guy even just realizing how ridiculous of a yeah, premise right. this is and how he has to keep up the character still. And he's like, probably, there's probably random days and times where this dude's like, I'm so over yeah. this. Like, I cannot believe I'm going on my 12th episode of I know. hosting I know. the show. Like, uh, let's go in the next week. We don't know if it's the finale or not. We didn't look right. into that. So we either got one or two more episodes, I would think, left. My opinion, I think it's Danny B's to lose. That's no, I mean, everybody left, I think, has a really good chance. Uh, I'm gonna go with Mr. I'm gonna go with Mr. Judge. He's just this, so boring, dude. I know he's boring, but I don't know. I, I don't really, I, I still don't know that much about um, uh, Mr. Emmy. Like what is, she, I don't know what she truly yeah. likes. Cause she can't, she can't like van life. If she likes van life, she's not going to like, none of these guys are going to work. Judge is just like nothing wrong with him, but like, mm-hmm. that's such a, if you are familiar with reality TV, think back like Katie Thurston season of the bachelorette where she ends up getting rid of the guy, Greg, who she was really into right before the finale. Mm-hmm. And it ends up with the guy, Blake, almost as just like a default winner. <laughs> like you survived the per- different purges and quittings and you're left. That's kind of how I feel like it would be with him. It's just they don't even know each other. Maybe they could be perfect for each other or I can totally envision a scenario. She picks him and it's just like, oh, the distance didn't work out. Really, yeah. once we got out of the back in time, we really didn't mesh well. And he's a great guy and we're friends. Like I got that type of feeling with him. Honestly, that's really who I, the feeling I get with all of them. I don't really think Danny would stay with her after all this crap, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's just a tough show because we've said it, we've commented on this before. You never really feel like when they're doing the one-on-ones that they're even really connecting. It's just kind of no. like a show. They're just there and it's just an elimination show. They kinda. spend more time practicing the dance. Yep. And like getting to know each other. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So no one else was eliminated for the three dances. Everyone danced. Everyone was given their props. Uh, Mr. Cohen even mentioned that he wrote the note, and she said she was pro the note. So everything uh, you said, everyone's going in pretty even keel to next week. We have our predictions, um, but we are interested. We are interested to see where this goes, and we are interested to see if the show gets renewed. Right. So uh, people who are watching along with us, let us know what you think of this week who you think is going to win either next week or the week after and kind of update your predictions. Are we going to see a season two of the courtship, but for myself, Brian, Miss Remy, the Regency era. Thank you. Peace.